got a great design trend and DIY for you today. So one of the things that we saw at market this year at Las Vegas and at High Point were these beads used as accessories, kind of like necklaces um, and used all different kinds of ways, whether it was draped over a bottle, spilling out of a low bowl, or draped over some books. Uh, and it's fun to know the, the um, meaning behind the trend. First of all, circles, the softening of lines, the curves we saw in furniture, the lines softening. This is part of the femininity coming out, uh, women power, and just so more circles in everything, whether that's in the shape of a mirror, in uh, the, the shape of a pillow or art, everywhere we looked, more circles. So these beads are a circle of circles and they represent also individuals coming together in a unified whole. So that's um, us as individuals coming together. We wanting, we're wanting to kind of escape all of the screen time, technology, digital stuff. We want something tactile and uh, touchable and it's more handcrafted. So this, this is part of the slow living movement where to make something like this, it's not machine or mass produced, it requires sitting and doing a repetitive motion like stringing beads. And that's kind of calming and centering. And it's also a handcrafted artisanal thing, which is another one of the big design trends this year. So these beads are, represent us coming together in community. We're so glad that you're part of our community. So I wanna kind of give you a little DIY on how you can do this yourselves. These can be really expensive if you buy them retail, even wholesale. We had trouble finding them a great price on them. So we came up with doing some of our own. All of these are handmade. Uh, you can buy beads at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or even on Amazon or something. Uh, you want to usually get the kind of chunkier, bigger ones. These raw natural wood ones look great. Uh, look very organic. So a couple of things uh, as far as length, this shorter length, this is only about eight inches long. So put it together, it's about 16 inches long. So that's a perfect size for just draping over a bottle, something like that. If you wanna drape over some books, you're gonna need something a little bit longer. Uh, this, the bead part is about 11 or 12 inches, so about 24 inches for that. So you're gonna cut your hemp, your jute rope for your beads to be a, a good bit longer than what you want the actual strand to, to be. So this is 24 inches, so I would cut about three feet probably uh, for that. For this particular one, you might notice we put a little knot in between each of the beads and that just kind of gives a different look. There's so many different ways that you can do it. Um, on this one, on this one you'll notice the beads were, the last couple of beads were together instead of being on the circle. They're on a, they kind of form part of the tassel. This one, not even done in a circle, just See how fun that is to lay across some books? Another little trick is to have your books cover them with, with craft paper, just to simplify that. Just to, in your staging, just makes it where, you know, there's not distracting titles or something on that. Uh, so anyway, just a lot of different ways. This one doesn't have a tassel, but you'll notice there's still this little simple knot it's okay to have that. You don't want it to look too perfect. You want it to look handcrafted, homemade. Imperfect is, is actually a good thing here. We want it to look natural. Um, and they look great out of, out of a, an organic bowl like that. So this is part of the problem. It gets all tangled up and I can't, can't even find the end. But this narrower piece of jute is probably what you're gonna need for actually stringing the beads because they tend to have smaller holes and, and the thicker stuff that we're gonna use for the tassel won't work well for that. But 
But the fact that this is a little bit thinner is actually gonna help us in the tying off process later. So you get your, your jute string and just use your hand as a guide and just gonna wrap it around there a bunch of times, as many times as you want, depends on how thick of a, uh, of a tassel you want. I'm gonna cut that off. And then I'm gonna use a piece of the narrower jute, which could be just the ends of the, of the strand. And that's what we're gonna to use to tie this off here. Okay. Now you see I've got a, a little loop of pieces. I'm gonna cut one end and that gives us that tassel. Then I'm gonna wrap that around. Now you could do you could wrap this kind of like that where you're leaving a little a little bit of the piece up here. Or there's different ways you could do it. You could, let me see. One of these, that one kind of shows more of a loop like that. This one the wrap goes all the way up to the bead. So you could do it just however you like the look to be. And then you're gonna tie that off. You might need a little dot of glue, hot glue or something, to finish that up, but you're just gonna tie that. Then you might need to steam these ends also to make them lay a little bit more flat like that. So you can use really any kind of bead, whatever you like. Glass beads are beautiful. I found these rocks, rock beads, that I thought that would make a really fun and organic little uh, strand there. So just have fun, try out different things. But that's all there is to it, super simple. Just a fun way to get creative, save a little bit of money, but yet bring in one of the current trends. And you're gonna sound so smart to your clients when you tell them the reason, the meaning behind the trend. So, so glad you are part of our community.